In this video, I am constructing parallel lines using the corresponding angle method. The first thing we want to do is we want to draw a transversal from our point to our original line. You want to make sure that it extends far enough through on the top side so that we have room to work. So here is our transversal. I'm going to label this line L and I'll label this one T. And we're going to start by placing our compass on the intersection of L and T. And we're going to strike an arc across both sides of the angle. And corresponding angles, if we are in the upper right hand quadrant of this intersection, at our new intersection, we also want to be in the upper right hand quadrant. So we'll place the stylus on our point and we'll strike our arc. And should you miss this top intersection, if your line isn't long enough, go ahead and extend that through there. It's not a big deal. We'll open the compass the distance across our original angle and we'll strike an arc. And I'm going to keep my stylus placed on the transversal because it will make it look similar at both intersections. So I'm coming up to where my arc crossed the transversal at the second point. Strike an arc. And then we'll connect our two points, the original point, and where the two arcs intersect, we'll connect that. And we'll have our parallel lines. One thing to remember, if you're instructed to name it some particular name, as we did in class, this was M, and we needed to put a point U on here, don't forget to label your lines appropriately. That concludes this video.